Did you know some of our favourite movies as kids are based on some pretty dreadful events? Also, if we take a deeper look into the movies, we find some pretty disturbing aspects that we missed as children. Number 5 the Real Minions Released in 2010, Despicable Me is an animated comedy film made by Universal Pictures and Illumination Entertainment. The film's plot follows a supervillain by the name of Gru. He becomes upset when a rival of his by the name of Vector steals the Great Pyramid of Giza. Gru wants to top this and plans to steal the moon by shrinking it first. He and his minions plan to steal a shrink ray from a secret base in East Asia. But it turns out his rival had already stolen it. Now you get the gist of the movie, let's take a look at the minions. They are little yellow creatures who speak in high-pitched tones. They live to serve, but always find themselves working for a series of unsuccessful masters. A rumour sparked online after this picture was released. It's believed to show Jewish kids in outfits before they were placed in gas chambers by the Nazis during the Holocaust. Now, we know that during the Holocaust, the Nazis performed cruel experiments on thousands of children. This is also tied into the idea that the minions were based on the children. During the experiments, the children would plead for help and scream. But as they did not speak the same language as the Nazi doctors, they would be laughed at by them as they found their whining funny. This is believed to be why the minions speak in a high-pitched voice in the movie. After the rumour sparked, many people claimed it was a hoax and said that the picture simply showed deep sea divers. But others believe the rumour was real. This included many news stations. Some went as far as saying, the movie is a push by Hollywood and the government in order for us to accept modern day Nazism. Others said the resemblance of the minions in the picture is too close to be a coincidence. Whether the rumour is real or not, who knows? I guess only the writers do. If you want more information about this, then be sure to check out this video which goes in depth about the rumour. Number 4 Pokemon. Not only does this involve every Pokemon movie ever, but also every TV episode. If you just take a look at the Pokemon world, you will find that it is full of dark material which doesn't seem suitable for kids. Pokemon started off in 1995 as a video game for the Game Boy, but adapted into movies and a TV series. Where to begin? Let's start with Team Rocket. Led by Giovanni, Team Rocket is a villainous team who pursue evil and like to exploit Pokemon. Their motto is, steal Pokemon for profit, exploit Pokemon for profit, all Pokemon exist for the glory of Team Rocket. Their main focus is to steal or capture rare Pokemon so that they can sell them. They are also known for conducting cruel experiments on the Pokemon for research purposes. At times, they've even killed them. They are pretty much like the Nazis of the Pokemon world who run an illegal trafficking racket. There are also child abductors in the world. The Pokemon known as Drifloon likes to abduct children. They are shaped like a purple circle and have two string-like arms. Children often mistake take them for balloons, and once grabbed, they are taken away. This isn't the only Pokemon that has an interest in children. There is one which is known as Bennett. This one likes to stalk children. Although the original first movie was rated G, meaning anyone can watch it, the opening scene showed Mewtwo waking up and slaughtering the scientist who created him. So yeah, Pokemon is pretty dark if you look into it. Number 3 the Jungle Book This Disney film follows Mowgli, a young boy who is an orphan. After being found in a basket by a black panther in the middle of an Indian jungle, he is taken to a mother wolf who raises him as her own. He then spends most of his life in the jungle with several animals. Released in 1967, the film was met with positive reviews. However, others believe there is a deeper meaning. Professors that analyse the film believe it is racist. Media professors from the Syracuse University claim that the apes in the film are clearly meant to demean black people. In an interview, they said that in a scene in which the apes are singing a song titled, I Wanna Be Like You, the ape explains how he wants to be like a human. The professors claim this is really a racist metaphor for black people's efforts to be more like white people. However, these are just the opinions of the professors. The real shock comes when you learn what the movie was based on. It was based on a short story by Rudyard Kipling. In the Disney version, the ending shows Mowgli coming across a village full of people. He then enters the village and the animals sing a happy tune and the movie finishes. However, in the original version, when Mowgli enters the village, the villagers do not accept them into their society. Due to this, he asks an elephant for help. In the movie, 
The elephant is portrayed as a helpful, forgetful old elephant. But in the short story, he is a bloodthirsty savage. Due to the rejection of the villagers, Mowgli gets upset and rounds up a gang of animals and destroys the whole village. To sum it up, in the original ending, Mowgli is one ruthless kid. Number 2. Tangled. Released in 2010, this Walt Disney film is based around Rapunzel. Rapunzel was born to a queen, but was kidnapped after birth by a woman called Gothel. Gothel took her as she found out that Rapunzel's hair has magical healing properties which helps retain youth. She also locks Rapunzel away in a tower, but all she wants to do is be adventurous. Shortly after, a thief discovers the tower and helps Rapunzel escape. They then fall in love and she finds out that she is a princess and they live happily ever after. Well, that's the case in the Disney version. However, in the original fairy tale of Rapunzel, it goes a little bit like this. Gothel tricks the thief into climbing up the tower by cutting off Rapunzel's hair and dangles it out the window for him to climb up it. But when he makes it to the top, he notices that he has been tricked leaps off the tower and lands face first onto a bed of thorns which blinds him. No happy ending, just a blind thief. Number 1. Cinderella Once again another Disney movie. Released in 1950, the film's main character is Cinderella. She is an aristocrat who is bossed around by her stepmother and stepsisters. She tends to all their needs. Meanwhile, a grand duke is setting up a grand ball in order to try find his son by the name of Prince Charming, a companion. Cinderella asks her stepmother if she can attend the ball. She agrees, but only if she finishes her chores and finds nice clothes to wear. She then goes searching around the house for something to wear. As she is about to give up hope, her fairy godmother appears waves her magic wand and presents Cinderella with an outstanding outfit for the ball. Cinderella makes her way to the ball but must be home before midnight. When she arrives, she sees the prince and it's love at first sight. They then dance but time slips away and Cinderella rushes home as it's close to midnight. In her hurry, she loses one of her glass slippers. The prince then takes the slipper and makes his way to Cinderella's house. The stepsisters then try on the slipper but they don't fit. This is until Cinderella puts it on and it fits perfect. Her and the prince then get married and live happily ever after. That was the Disney version. In the Grimm's fairy tale version, the stepsisters amputate their toes and mutilate parts of their feet in order to try force on the slipper. Also, during the wedding, it gets even more disturbing. Cinderella orders that her sister's eyes be pecked out by angry birds. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with our videos. Goodbye.